The torch is what's called an inductively coupled plasma torch. Um, and basically what that means is it uses magnetic fields to generate high temperature plasma. We're studying the uh, interaction of the heat shield material with the very hot gases that are produced when a re-entry vehicle enters the atmosphere, such as when a spaceship, maybe it goes to the moon, and there are astronauts inside. Of course, you don't want them to, the astronaut to burn up. And so the, the spaceship has a sort of a sacrificial layer, which is, um, which, which sort of takes that heat load and uh, protects the astronauts. And so the, um, that sacrificial layer is, is something that is, is sort of not well understood in terms of how it interacts with the very hot gases. So for Orion, the new um, spacecraft that's going to carry uh, people to eventually to Mars, the last flight test that they had uh, when the spacecraft was re-entering the atmosphere, they noticed that there was a spike in the amount of erosion on the heat shield um, towards the end of the re-entry process. So like at right almost as the spacecraft has gone through the harshest part of the atmosphere, you'd expect the erosion to you know taper off, but actually there was a spike in, in the erosion. So I think that's that was kind of uh, the question that NASA wants us to uh, try to figure out um, figure out what's going on with the uh, mechanics of uh, the heat shield ablation. If we want to fly to other bodies in the solar system and we have some idea what their atmospheric composition is, we can start studying uh, the interaction materials with these gases and these materials when they are heated and then maybe design different kinds of heat shield materials that are better adapted for entry into Mars or entry into Titan's atmosphere or, or things like that.